Hello everyone. A year ago, I was in Sturgis, South Dakota for the 80th uh, rally. Uh, it's the Harley Davidson rally. And right now, in Sturgis, there's 500,000 motorcyclists getting ready to party, have music festivals, eat fantastic food, and have a fantastic time. I'm going to replay my most popular video, which has 67,000 views, over 67,000. And in total, all my Sturgis videos garnered over 100,000 views. So it was um, my most popular shows. This is a shirt I still have as a souvenir from that fantastic week in Sturgis. Had a really fantastic time. So enjoy this video. Um, go back and if you go to um, in YouTube, most popular, you'll see them all listed at the top. Uh, there were some great interviews, some great times, beautiful girls in bikinis, just uh, fabulous people having a fantastic time who are motorcycle buffs. Mostly Harley Davidsons, but there's a, every shape, size uh, of a motorcycle you can imagine. Uh, it's, so it's the 81st annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Enjoy it. Hope you're there. If not, enjoy it through my videos and have a fantastic day, everybody. Just got out of jail. No, shit. no seriously? No shit. Well, what happened? Tell me about it. Failed to stop at a stop sign, and then my buddy's prescription is in my bag, and it wasn't in his pill bottle. Oh no! So they took me to jail. For Just overnight? Yeah. So you got on the OR? Yeah. Was it crowded in jail? Uh, there was about 15 people in there. Oh, from Sturgis, obviously. But you weren't in any, you weren't drunk or anything. No. You just didn't stop for a stop sign. Yeah. And they brought you to jail for that? Well, he he, well, he gave me a field sobriety test. I don't know why, because I hadn't been drinking. And while he was doing it, the other cops searched my bike without uh, asking. Oh wow! And then they found my buddy's prescription, which is just his. He's a military it, vet. He's right. Retired. He's right. Back from taking pain pills. Right. And they thought I was trafficking narcotics or something. Oh man! I mean, the judge cleared it up this morning, but it was still. Is this a redneck state? I don't know. I'm from California. I'm from California. Oh, yeah? Where at? Los Angeles. In L.A.? Me too. I was Sunset and Vine. Sunset and Vine? Marina yeah. Del Rey. Okay, I love Marina Del Rey. Yeah. I sail out of there to go to Catalina. Oh, yeah? You're a sailor? Yeah. I'm a motor guy myself. Yeah. I had a 65 Angel. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I, I, I'm out of that. I'm just traveling around the world now, teaching people to be fantastic. Nice. Which I'm going to meet you in a second here. So, um, how long how do long you plan on staying now? Uh, I'll probably leave tomorrow. I'm actually here filming a show. Oh. Which I'll tell you about it. Sure. Um, well, you want me to be off air or on air? We're talking about on camera. Okay. Um, it's called Shut Up and Ride. I'm riding with, uh, we're making a show. Uh, this lady named Chantel Williams is all riding all 48 states and breaking the Guinness Book of World Records. Oh. She's recreating a ride that Bessie Stringfield did in the 1940s. Okay. So, uh, we're making a Netflix show. So where's the next stop? Oh, well, we're just shooting promos now. We've been in California, Florida, Well, stay in touch. Yeah. I'm a filmmaker myself. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're based out of Los Angeles, so. Oh, she's, well, she's yeah. in Florida, but my company's in Los Angeles. Okay. And is that, what business are you in? I'm a production guy. I do oh, you're a production guy? I'm a production company. Okay. That's a good place to be, L.A. Yeah. Except when they told me I had to be in my house 129 days ago, I said, F right. you. Well, that's why I took this show, because it's traveling around, and everything down there is on lockdown, so I just packed my shit and did this one. Well, if you need any uh, production assistant, uh, I'm a producer for 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. You're fantastic. Getting, getting through the jail. <laughs> Have a fantastic day, my friend. You too. Hey, everybody. I'm with Laura and Tony, two of the most fantastic looking people in the whole place. And what kind of ride are you guys on today? It's right behind you. It's right behind me. Which one is it? I just photographed those a little while ago. They're fantastic. You see, well, not only does your bike stand out from everyone else, you guys, well, you don't really stand out. You guys just mix right in with the tattoos and the, the cool glasses. So where are you all from? We're from Florida. Florida. So uh, you shipped the bikes, obviously, oh, no. in a plane. Um, and, 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 and you took a private plane and landed here, yeah. and now you're partying. <laughs> so Florida, that's fantastic. Um, I got hit by lightning in Florida once, many years ago. Yeah. So, uh, how many years have you been coming? Uh, it's about 50 years. What? How many? Fifth. Oh, that's just 50. I just met a guy who's been coming here 40. Wow. I interviewed him, so that's pretty cool. So five, five, <laughs> exactly. You're only 35, so I mean, how could you be coming here 50 years? 
So your fifth year, what was, your, what was the best year so far? Um, probably in 08. This one's pretty cool. Each one's different. Let's say. Each one's different. It has its own personality. All right. Well, I heard um, there was one uh, year that had 750,000 bikes. Yeah. This one's only got 250. We, we came from the 70s. Which was a big crowd. The 70th? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you just do the big the benchmarks? No. Or just whenever you feel like yeah. it? Yeah. You guys drove across country to, to go here? We did. We did. Yeah. Well, actually, actually, we're already half, it's only halfway, right? Where am I? I mean, I'm 20, from California. I don't even know where I'm at. We're in South Dakota. 2,100 miles one way. 2,100, so I'm only 1,000 miles from LA, I guess, or something like that? Okay. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what day it is. No, we lost and I don't care though. about either yeah, of those. Because yeah, I'm retired and I'm going on, I'm on a mission. To go around the world and, and meet fantastic people like you guys. Okay. What do you do in Florida? I hate bikes and street rides and hot rods. Oh, and you? And I'm a, a tattoo artist. I'm, no. I'm a surgical nurse. <laughs> a surgical nurse. You of all people need to be fantastic. It's going to help your your patients. I am fantastic. You are fantastic. My patients are fantastic. Yes, you are. And I love they, them. They tell you. This. Oh. So uh, I got to ask, how many tats? One tat. Consider one. And how many piercings? I have some. Some. <laughs> how about you? How many? You Zero have? of both. That's Zero? not Why? It's, it's not fantastic, but it is what it is. I'm still young. I still have some time to, to, to try it out, right? Yeah. See, um, not that I'm afraid of pain or anything, but I don't know what am I going to do. Maybe I'll type be fantastic on my, on my forehead. How's that <laughs> so one last question. How are you two today? How are you guys today? You are, aren't you? Yes, you are, girl. You go, girl. Thank you so much. Thank you. What the hell is new teeny? New teeny is our new bikini. It's a bikini that is uh, the illusion of a wet t-shirt. And we also have the oh, back end. The back end as well. Not See, I said we're going down the street and I swore it was painted on. Uh, exactly. <laughs> You guys are a, a, a spokespeople. Yeah. <laughs> Have a fantastic time. You too. So everybody, we're here with Jesse. What's this place called? This is One Eye Jack Saloon in Sturgis, South Dakota. And you uh, work here? Correct. And you pay to work here? I do. That's a little backwards, but on, on my day, people used to pay me to work. Oh yeah. But uh, so it could be lucrative because oh, um, yeah. you, know, you know a bunch of drunk. Uh, Sailors in here, and they, they take pretty good, I imagine. Uh, pretty good patrons. Pretty good patrons overall here. Is it your first year? Doing yes. This? Yes. And you've obviously got some stories from other girls. Oh, definitely. There's a lot of veterans, so they all look out for us new girls here yeah. every year. So it's been a really great experience. And so what's far. the big success story for a veteran? Um, just have confidence. Just have confidence in yourself when you're up on stage. You know, interact and perform with everybody that's around you. Seems like a lot of people are dancing on the bars. Is that is that what you do? Yes. But you serve drinks or you just dance? Just dance. Oh, you're just a dancer. Okay, I thought maybe you're the waitress. Oh, the I waitresses wish. don't have to pay the work to do anything. <laughs> no. Okay, there, no. so you're a dancer. Got it. Yes. And where, uh, where's your bar top? Um, I'm actually upstairs in the diamond room. In the diamond room? Yeah. And uh, you'll work till the wee hours in the morning, I imagine? Um, it kind of depends. It's every day. It's um, either one day, one to eight, or uh, eight p.m. to two a.m. And how many girls are here doing this? Um, we have 65 girls overall. 65 girls. And, yes. and then this is just one establishment in 100 in, on the street, oh, I imagine. Yes. But we, um, uh, One Eye Jacks is the only um, bar here in Sturgis that actually holds a license where the girls can get up on the bars and dance. Oh, so. So this is, um, I, I found the right place to uh, meet my buddies. <laughs> well, um, and where are you from? I am from Murray, Kentucky. And what is your goal in life? What's your dream? Uh, just be successful. Live life to the fullest. Be happy. Be, be happy. Be happy. <laughs> be fantastic. Be By the way, fantastic. I forgot to ask you, how are you? I am fantastic. There you go. You go, girl. <laughs> Have a fantastic night tonight. Make a lot of money with all your friends, with your 65 friends. And, um, we'll, we'll see you later. Thank you so yeah, much. Bye-bye.
Hey everybody, I'm with Scott, and what are, what's your ride, Scott? I have a 2013 Road King Anniversary Edition, Road King. Wow, sounds like a nice one. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. And where'd you come in from? Uh, Minneapolis. And how many days was that? We got here Saturday. We're staying up in Belfast. Okay, how many of there are you? Me and Dave. You and Dave? Hey, Dave. And uh, you got any trouble yet? Oh, me in trouble? Yeah. I'm you looking for trouble? No. <laughs> You're gonna. There's a lot of people getting tickets. I, I've interviewed two people who got arrested so far. Oh really? <laughs> Just oh, no. stop, not stopping at a stop sign. Yeah. I mean, what is it, a police state here or something? Oh, they tell you put both feet down. Put both feet down. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been riding? Well, nine years this time, and five years back in the '70s, and then I went fishing for 35 years. <laughs> Where'd you go fishing at? Well, I'm a Minnesota. I'm a walleye fisherman. Oh, where are you from? It's called uh, Maple Grove, Minnesota. Minnesota. So you drove in from Minnesota? Yep. And you, and you're with your buddy? Yeah. How long did that take? Well, we took two days. We left on Friday, stayed up here Friday night, came all the way to Belle Bouche okay. on Saturday. And are you in a club? Well, in a hog chapter. Elk River. A hog chapter? Yeah, Elk River. Those for Harley Davis and out of Elk River. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, I guess. Rides every weekend, right? We have a great club. Unfortunately, because of the COVID thing, we uh, haven't been as active, but we do a lot of spur of the moment rides. Right, right. So, well, you, thank you for the interview. Oh, yeah, you and betcha. You keep on trucking. You betcha, thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Everybody, I'm back, and I'm with Daytona Dan. No, like, Daytona Ron. Daytona Ron, I was close. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What? You guys sound the wrong name. <laughs> Daytona Ron. Yes, Daytona Ron. I imagine you lived in Daytona and your no. name is Ron. No. Never lived in Daytona. And your name's not Ron. My name is Ron. I promise you my name okay. is Ron. And um, you are a retired yes. chief of police. Yes, correct. You don't look old enough to even be in the force yet. Thank you. Thank you. I love you and I love these guys. These guys are fantastic, these by the way. Yeah. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you, you caught it in time. Your mother always said, think before speaking, right? Yeah, yeah. Josh, you're fantastic. So, chief of police. Yes, sir. In where? where out of where? Vandenberg, Illinois. It's a Illinois. suburb of Chicago. So, were you a motorcycle cop? No, absolutely not. No. I would never uh, be a cop on a motorcycle. It's too dangerous. Oh, my God. Very dangerous. Yeah, I just like to ride motorcycles. Okay. That's not dangerous So, what's your ride? What do I ride? Yeah, what do you I ride? I ride a 2019 Road Glide. Okay. And uh, is it right here? out there somewhere it's a black Harley. you have like a, a, a little there. clicker you can find your bike <laughs> oh it's, it's a black Harley. you can find them anywhere they're all it's it's dark black. black dark black do you have little clickers to find your bikes no no we have to nobody look. you have to look for them we have to look. sometimes it's a challenge so how many years have you been coming here uh let's see i don't know seven seven years seven years something like any that. magnificent moments we could, we could share uh, I just love this place because of the bartenders that are here. They're amazing, and it's uh, our favorite stop. Well, they dance on top of the bar here. I don't even care if they dance on top. They just serve us drinks and drink. personalities that we love, and you know we get to know them and we have a relationship with them. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, love it. So typically, you have, you have people have one hangout. They don't just jump around to bars, right? I jump that around. Work? You jump around? Yeah, yeah, you, jump you guys around. jump around too. Yeah. We jump around. But this is you like this place though. It's a cool place. You usually yeah. come to the one place first, hang out, jump around, and come back to it again. And, and everybody, this is like front row seating. Oh, well, yeah. there's a little bit here, but... Well, these guys are VIPs here. Tony and Laura, they're, yeah, they're VIPs. <laughs> well, they, their names are on the chairs, yeah. so I guess that's probably why, you know. <laughs> so, and where do you live? I live in Illinois. Illinois. Uh, yeah, Wakanda. It's a suburb. So, uh, as you retire, usually that means you do something different. What are you doing now? I work part time for a hospital, uh, hospital security. Oh, okay. I work about two days a week. Okay. Just to uh, keep me, you know, occupied. Yeah, you like to, you don't want to bust someone now and again. Go on, you know. Ah, uh, usually <laughs> I don't do that. I'm joking. It's something to do. It's something to do. Well, my wife likes to kiss. My wife likes to kiss, kick my ass out of the house every once in a while. Yeah, I bet. This is pretty amazing. It's an amazing place. What what do you think the most expensive bike here is? Um, what's the price tag on it? Uh, Tony's. Tony's. Well, yes, it's custom. Yeah, but not. By the way, everybody, that's Tony's and Laura's right there. The green one is Tony's and the red one is Laura's. What's that? His bike. His bike is the most expensive? It's a black Harley. It's a run of the mill. Yeah, but it has something very special on it. Yeah, it did. What, his wife? No. No. 
<laughs> Wait, it's in, it's, we're in Sturgis. We don't talk about that, all right? Oh, what happens in Sturgis stays in Sturgis. Okay, we're all single. <laughs> that works. So this is uh, pretty is pretty special. This is my first time, and my last. You're a Sturgis virgin. I'm a Sturgis virgin. Okay. I like sturgeon. Is that if you're a Sturgis? I don't know. I'm a caviar nut, so I don't know about uh, how that works out. But uh, we're in Sturgis, 2020, and uh, I don't see anyone with masks on. What? Or no. don't, are you not allowed to wear masks here? What's the deal? No, we don't wear masks. No, we're we tired don't. of masks. We're yeah. totally tired of masks. Yeah, I know. We're done with them. I hate the face of society we turn into. It's really yeah. I can't stand wearing masks. I know. It's just. I mean, well, you don't want to cover those good looks anyway. You know, you should be a movie star. Oh, shut up! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right? He's got, he's got the chops. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Daytona, nice meeting you. Ron. Thank yeah. you so much.